Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Let's Talk Stamps. Today I wanted to share this really cool database that features over 17,000 images of maps on stamps. Now this website is incredibly easy to use and perfect for anyone interested in geography and stamp collecting. One of the reasons why I love using this website so much is not only can you view some really amazing maps on stamps, but this site links the places for each stamp that you see to buy them. This is such a meticulous labor of love for the website's administrator, Gilad Aharoni, and he deserves so much credit and support for creating such a useful tool for philatelists. Before we jump right in, if you could please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and like this video, that goes a long way and you'll help this channel grow. Now, to access this website, we need to enter in our search bar the address mapsonstampsdb.com. That's M-A-P-S-O-N-S-T-A-M-P-S, -S -S, the letter D-B, dot com. And once there, you'll notice some information at the top of the page on how to use this website, as well as if we scroll down, we can see some of the latest editions of maps on stamps that are uploaded. We can see that there are examples of India, Nepal, Australia, Gambia, Sierra Leone, Niger. So, they update this website regularly and again this is a wonderful database to look at postage stamps that feature maps on them. Now if we go back to the very top of the page there are two important search bars that we will want to pay attention to as we navigate this site. You can search maps on stamps by country or you can search how a particular country or territory is depicted. This distinction is really helpful because let's say we wanted to see how the United States of America depicts maps on their stamps, and we also wanted to see how other countries depicted maps of the United States. The first search bar will help us identify the former request and the second search bar here will help us identify the latter. So let's go ahead and look at the first search bar, which is Select Issuing Entity, and let's scroll down until we find the United States of America. They have all the countries listed here by alphabetical order, so we want to go all the way down until we find the United States of America. Okay, here it is. So I'm going to click on that. And that takes us to as far back, let's see, the years of postage stamps that are issued by the United States of America but feature maps. We have some Cinderella uh, or propaganda stamps here. Um, let's see, we can scroll down 1867. So this goes back quite far as we can see. Um, oh, here's a postage stamp right here issued by the United States of America that depicts a map of the Louisiana Purchase. So let's zoom in there so we can just have a, a nice look. And this description says, United States of America, 19 over, 1904, map of Louisiana Purchase. Okay, so that's really cool. And we'll keep scrolling down to see what else we see. Here's some more. Um, here's an example from 1926. Here's a map of the United States issued in 1926. We see two airplanes. It says 15 cents. And there's a nice map of the country. Let's keep looking and see what else we can find. Again, what we're looking at right now are maps that are issued by the United States of America. Well, here's a nice one right here. This is from 1939, and this is 
the 50th anniversary of statehood of Washington and Montana. Um, this is a three cent denomination and this was issued in 1939 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of several states in the United States of America. Now, what's really great about this website is let's say I want to try and buy this stamp, uh, this stamp that has the 50th anniversary of statehood of Washington and Montana. Uh, what we can see below the stamp are several online stamp stores that may in fact have this stamp for purchase. So if we select eBay, which is the first one, we can scroll down and this is categorized by the United States 1939. So it's not gonna have the exact stamp that we saw right up front. It may have it, it's not 100% precise, but you can see what stamps were issued from the United States in the year 1939. So we may come across that particular stamp with the map, or we may not. You have to do a little detective work. You know, it takes a moment to scroll through and see if they actually have it. Um, they may not. They may not. So let's let's just keep looking. Um, if we don't see it here, that's okay. Again, this is categorized by year, but let's go back to another website called Del Campe. Del Campe was a website that I featured in previous videos of where to buy affordable stamps along with eBay. But let's scroll down and see if we can find that particular stamp that we looked at with the map on it. I'm gonna keep scrolling. We see not quite yet. Let's see, have we come across it? It just takes a little time to, to find, um, but it is there. I can already see that I think there is a map here, not from that stamp, but from another stamp that was listed in that database. So if you, if you take the time, you can find what you're looking for. I'll try one more one more site there's hip stamp which is another online stamp store and this is going to take us once again to stamps that were issued in 1939 let's see if we see it okay well i i'm not seeing that particular stamp but the good news is you do see many other stamps. Oh, I do see a first day cover, I believe. Let's zoom in. 50th anniversary of statehood. And look, there's the map of the state of Washington, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota. So you can find what you're looking for if, if you take the time to to search and this is just really really helpful that the administrator of this database has not only listed the stamps but you know included other places where you can actually purchase these stamps uh connect i believe here you're not going to be able to actually purchase the stamp but what you can do and why this is so helpful is if you click here Look, this is fantastic. This gives you a breakdown of all the important information of the stamp. So it has the series, the 50th anniversary of statehood. It has the catalog listings. It includes Michelle, uh, Stanley Gibbons. It has the perforation. It has the emission. This is a commemorate stamp. So you can find a lot of great details if you if you want to you know, label and catalog your stamps. You can't buy the stamp here, but it will give you the title, the year it was issued, the catalog number, all of these important information. So let's say we want to find countries or territories that depict maps of the United States. Well, to do that, we want to first go back to our first search bar and let's clear that field 
So we have a blank canvas and we want to just clear that so it's open and we want to go back to where it says on the right side depicted select depicted country because we want to see how other countries or territories depict maps of the United States. So we want to once again scroll down until we see United States of America and there it is and it'll take a moment to load up and some of this may be redundant but when we scroll down what we're going to start to see is not just the United States but other countries or territories depicting maps of the United States and here's one right here issued uh, by Turkey in the year 1939 let's click on that there we can see an image of Turkish President uh, Kemal Mustafa Ataturk and there's George Washington on the right so this is a Turkish stamp and here is a nice map of the United States and this says Turkey 1939 150th anniversary of the United States Constitution so that's just an example of how a foreign country depicts a map of the United States let's scroll down a little bit more and see what we can find I see already there's a lot of a lot of examples there's a lot of countries here is Haiti depicting a map and we can see that this is Haiti 1959 third Pan American Games Chicago 50 cent denomination so that's an example of the country Haiti depicting a map on their stamp um, let's keep scrolling down here is Togo the country Togo um, 1963 centenary of American slaves emancipation 25 fill denomination so here is the country Togo with a map on it and there is Abraham Lincoln let's keep scrolling down and see what else we find there's some more Togo see a lot of maps I think there's more Haiti here's Yemen let's take a look the country Yemen has in 1970 second manned lunar landing Apollo 12 so let's say this is a really nice stamp sheet let's say we want to try and find this stamp for sale well underneath the description we can click on eBay and that opens us up to the eBay store and we can see now again it's listed by year and country so Yemen 1970 we can see if they have that particular stamp available and I think I see it right here for a dollar 45 let's zoom in if we can yeah there it is for sale right there pretty cool so you can buy it on eBay we can look to see just to compare if we can find it on other stamp stores we can compare the price here's Del Campi and let's scroll down we're looking again at the country Yemen in the year 1970 so it's gonna list a bunch of stamps from Yemen in the year 1970 and they may or may not have it again I said it's not a hundred percent accurate but it's pretty good because you can if you look close enough you can find the stamps that are featured in the database it may not be here but we can check if it's available at the hip stamp store we already found it on eBay here it is right here um, there's several we can just click on on one yeah I mean so once again that is just a really nice feature that you're interested in finding maps on stamps not only can you find and view over 17,000 stamps but you can actually purchase them directly through the website because it links to places where you can find them and the Colnect website right here will give you a breakdown here's the one from Yemen yeah second manned lunar landing Apollo 12 you're gonna get the full description to help 
categorize and identify your stamp, you're going to get the catalog number, you're going to get the year, you're going to get perforation information, uh, you're going to get whether it's a commemorative or definitive, you're going to find all that information right here. So this is a real great one-stop shop to find information for maps on stamps. So my question for you all is, do you have any maps on stamps in your stamp collection? If so, please share them with me in the, in the comment section. And if you found this website useful and want to see more content like this, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, happy stamping!